the first day on the water for I think about a month. Um, the camera's wonky, so we're just going to sort that out. Uh, ending up in the drink. I think that's a bit better. Something like that. Bit of a break in the weather today. Still a little bit foggy, but I think that's just over the river X. I think target species might be a bit of, bit of place. A bit of, well, whatever's about really, probably. I think there'll be a lot of dogfish. I really like a cod. I've not had a cod. I have heard they're in the reefs around here. So we've got a bit of squid, uh, frozen black lug. Um, I've got some cart as well, uh, crab basically. Um, and we've got some prawns, I think, for the place. So I'm just going to paddle out to a bit more, just the outside of the reef. Um, might play some lures on the way out. So, nice morning. I think if I go that way, you can see up the coast behind me. And, uh, let's see what today brings. Okay, so I've um, decided to do something, uh, mix it up a bit, do something that I've not really done before, um, not here anyway. Um, I don't tend to anchor up at Ladrum, so um, I've put the anchor out. Um, I'm in about, uh, it says 11 and a half, 12 meters of water, just off the edge of the reef. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is the fisherman uh, has actually given us some um, leftover prawns, so some leftover, the dead, but I'm just gonna leave them on a uh, one up. Um, and then I'm gonna put down a cocktail bait of a squid, black lug, and cart as well. Um, I'm not exactly anywhere remotely good at putting baits together. It's not something I even uh, like to say that I can do properly, but it's got a hook point, two hook points, so. We're gonna drop back down and see if anything would like to take it. So that's touch bottom. I'm just gonna put it in the rod rest. Just make sure it is hard, hard down, which it is. There we go. Kayak's moving around a little bit. Just gonna loosen the drag off as well, so if anything does take it, let it eat it. Um, and while I'm here, I might put something else down on the other side. Um, I'm not drifting, but might put a place rig down just in case. See, see if anything will take it. Now I've got that bait on the bottom. Um, it's been down for about 10 minutes. It's, the kayak's moving around a bit, but doesn't seem to be any interest in that one in a minute, but it's only been 10 minutes, so. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm setting up uh, just a single place rig. Um, now a lot of people go, oh, don't use cooked prawns. Um, I've had a lot of success with cooked prawns. Um, so basically, on, the, on my rigs, I just make them up. Um, I just get a small uh, pocket weight on a little bit of um, higher poundage line um, and then beads with two stopper knots and a little spinny um, and this is like an offset shank 1-0 um, and all I do um, is hook down through the tail of them and then turn them round so that the head of the hook goes into the tail and then it sticks out. Um, and then basically I cut the extra meat off. I mean you can keep that for bait, um, tip, tipping off, but I chuck it. Um, and then what I do, tend to do, I'll just put that away. 
is um, I tip it off generally with a bit of squid. Be it, um, I've just got a squid head here at the minute. Might as well use this. Just get some flesh off of that. Um, I find it doesn't really have to be a lot, it's just enough to stop the prawn from slipping off the end. Um, now, later on I will use this in the situations that I've actually caught them on, because at the minute I'm just sat still. Um, on the kayak I like to drift for them across the open banks, um, which hopefully we can do later with the drogue, but at anchor at the minute I've just basically got that, so just a single bit of squid sticking off the end, um, and we'll drop that down in a minute and uh, try our luck, because you've got to be in it to win it, I guess. Oh, so, I haven't actually managed to get that place rig on the, and we've we've hooked up into something. Um, it doesn't feel that big. And whether it's taken the prawn or the, uh, it's fighting now. We're gonna take our bets as to what it is. I'm going to say dogfish, and it's a dogfish, and it's taken the prawn of all of all of that. And there we go then. So I'll still take it as the first fish of the day. Um, and now he's going to wrap himself up in my net. I tend to net him just because it makes it easier to stop making a mess in the boat. Apart from dogfish, do uh, like to wrap your net up. Now, they also have got razor, not razor sharp, sandpaper like skin. I just want to get that hook out. There we go. Keep him happy, as can be, that someone that's just had a hook through its mouth. So, there we go. Little doggy. But, there we go. Right, okay, so that dogfish has gone back. Um, I've got place rig rigged up, so I'm just gonna drop him over the side. Um, just another bait in the water, so. And it's a dogfish, he's eaten again. He's taken the lot, nice. Now thankfully, this doggy was just spat the whole bait out and I, was, I don't like it when they got it because sometimes there's really not a lot you can do for them um, and I'm all for catch and release but I mean I'm, I'm one for taking for the table as well um, but what he's just done is given himself a nose piercing which is still better than what was going to happen to him unfortunately there we go so there's a doggy it's at least going back. So he's taken the squid, cart, and lug. Um, and something else is tapping on this one still. I'm gonna say dogfish. I think it's gonna be a dog, doggy day. So I think it's safe to say that we're gonna get a bit dogfished out here. So um, I'm gonna change tactics, I think. I'm gonna... Um, Rebait, I might put a spreader bar set up on this rod, stay with the play set up on this one, um, and then I'm going to get the drogue out um, and go further out. Okay, so I've packed up the main anchor. Um, I'm not filming that because it's a bit of a faff to be honest. Um, I've just found I've got a waypoint marker on my Garmin uh, fish finder which is for place. Um, which is pretty much somewhere around here. So what I'm just gonna do is go, I've got an offshore breeze, which is gonna take you right onto the mark. So I'm just going, showing flat ground. So what I'm going to do, 
could just stop a minute and make things a bit easier. Right, so, for those of you that don't know, I've got um, a drogue, which is basically a parachute for the water. So we're going to drop that overboard. And I've got a anchor trolley, which I can mount it off the front, and then we tie it off. Um, so what you can't see at the minute is that's now opening up under the water and you'll see that I will start to turn around. Right, so with that, what I've got is, again, two baits. This one, again, I got, I've not tried place with these prawns, but I was, I've got them. I've got two, so that's my last one. So we might as well just drop that one down. Right, so I'm starting to swing around now, and I'm on flat ground, open ground. So we'll get this one down. I've got, I've got a a spreader bar set up that consists of basically two, uh, a bomb weight. Hopefully this keeps it down because the other rig can flap around and whiten and things will take it. So. Um, we'll get that one down as well. So I've had both lines out for a while now, um, about mm, 20 minutes, no, half hour I think actually, I've been on the drift. Um, I've reset the drift once um, on the single prawn, um, I had dogfish, that was on the, the, the um, fresh prawn. Um, I haven't had any takes on the other one. Um, something keeps attacking this, but it might just be the bottom has got a bit rough. Yeah, I think so. But I think all in all, it's um, a nice day to get on the water, but um, I think it's going to be a bit of a dogfish day. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. Uh, the sun's starting to show its appearance. That's why you probably can't see me due to the blaring sun behind me which warms the fingers up a little bit but not that much so we'll keep this up for a bit and hopefully we can get another fish in the boat it would be nice so there was no luck on the on the drift other than one dog fish um, so I'm just paddling back in now Drifted a fair way in about an hour on the drift. So I'm gonna go back in, possibly try on the reef. If not, hey ho, just the way it goes. So hey guys, I'm uh, back on the beach now. Well, a little bay. I've, I've got to paddle around that headland to get back to Ladron Bay. But um, yeah, it's been one of those days, a bit slow, but that's the way it goes. Um, hopefully over the coming year I might be able to put a video or two together for you. Um, hopefully some of you even find it useful, I don't know. But, so, till then, I'm gonna go warm up because it's freezing. Cheers! Oh, one last thing. If you like these videos, smash that like button, click the subscribe, help a brother out, that'd be great. We're only just getting started, hopefully. Cheers, I gotta go.